everybody and welcome back. Let's get into tonight's episode of America's Next Top Model. So we started off with the Miss Brenda K. She's still not talking to Liz due to the comments that Liz made about her family saying that she um she basically said that Brenda K is a brat and she see why her family yell at her and whatnot and so forth and so on. So she said that knowing Brenda K has like this huge issue with her family. So for her to say something like that was just like, you know, touched a really soft spot with Brenda K. So now they got beef. So Liz has tried to go to her and apologize and whatnot. Brenda K basically said, you know what? Um, let's just keep our distance from each other because in so many words, I'm just not feeling you. We can't be friends or whatnot. I am glad that at least Liz tried to correct her mistakes and what have you and so forth. Anyway, so the ladies have to memorize lines for a love scene in a restaurant. And they're going to be working with doing this little co competition with the director of Glee. His name is Anthony Hemingway. And they're going to be shooting with Kevin Phillips. The ladies <laughs> have been man deprived. And they got this sexy man here. And it made some of the ladies nervous. Some of the ladies have never did any kind of acting so they're intimidated by it and they all kind of messed up or whatnot or what have you so this got really interesting to me i don't know about y'all but i was so tickled but christiana is she is one of my favorites because to me she's just so hilarious she's real at the same time and then she's like super hilarious but she she went out there and served it she did the script she did what she was asked to do she came through and let have Poor Cora came out there. Her nerves were shot. She cannot be like, well, I've never done this before. I don't know how I'm going to do. She has got to stop doing that. And some of the other ladies do that too. Cora started off really strong. And somewhere along the line, she's kind of lost herself. And she's been getting kind of like psyched out. It was like after she wasn't getting front first and told she was doing good on the, um, after the first shoot she started letting it go to her head and she shouldn't have did that i like how shanice did <laughs> did she came out there and kind of improvised some and i like that she has come out of her shell like i feel like she's finally been herself we get to really see her and it makes it br helps bring out her beauty when her confidence is up i will say this I, I've learned from watching other reality shows that directors, if they've written a script, they don't like you to change the lines. They don't like for you to rewrite their words. They like for you to pretty much well keep it as is. And they kind of like for you to say the lines exactly how it was intended. Some people can get away with improvising, but they've been in the game for a long time and they're already like big actors or whatever. But anyway, I think she really did good. I, to me, this is one of the best competitions that she's done. They did think she was funny, and they really liked her energy. Ryan, okay, so after all of this, like I said, some of the ladies did good. Um, and after all of this, they're sitting and they're talking or what not in the hot tub. Ryan goes on to tell the ladies uh, basically what her issues are um, by her losing her dad. And it made her gain weight. And when it made her gain weight or whatever, it messed up her, her confidence. Well, she has since then, obviously, if you've seen her on the show, she's lost weight. Since she's lost weight or what, what have you, she's beautiful. But she's still saying she needs to lose more weight. Honey, if you lose any more weight, we're not going to be able to see you. You're going to be as skinny as this little tripod pole right here holding up my camera. You don't need to lose any more weight. But she got some issues, and these issues to me are really affecting her ability on this show to 
to come through in her pictures because it's leaving her pictures null and void because she's thinking, she's overthinking it and she needs to stop overthinking it and just be her. If she could be herself and be confident and just realize her beauty, she could really go farther. So, anyway, the next morning after all this happens and they, um, Rio and one of the other ladies was trying to, you know, talk to Ryan and tell her, you know, just work on practicing her poses and facial expressions and whatnot. It, and it didn't have anything to do with her weight. Liz jumps up, realized she woke up late. She is having a meltdown over not being able to get in the shower when she want to. You got about 14, 13 or 14 ladies in the house. She wants to skip in the line and get in the shower like she want to. Now... I could have sworn um, she talked about Brenda K um, and called her a brat and said that she was spoiled. But yet, isn't she acting spoiled? Isn't isn't she the pot calling the kettle black? Okay. So anyway, they had this real sick photo shoot where they had on these creepy horror show clothes and I understand that this lady this lady is renowned. She's well known. She's up there with the big stars and the heavy hitters, all this kind of stuff. But it does not change the fact that the stuff is ugly and disgusting. Which I'm that's what she was shooting for, I'm sure and I know. I just don't like that kind of stuff. It's just it's to each his to each his own. But anyway, back to the creepy photo shoot. So again, my favorite person in the in the photo shoot was Christiana and Aaron. I liked Rio's. I'm 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 Rio is growing on me. And I cuz I love her look the blood the platinum blood. Ooh. It's so pretty. But anyway, it it came out really good. So they had the um photo shoot. Um, Cora, she, I, she overthinking it and weeding herself out because she messed up yet another photo shoot. She messed up two photo shoots the last show. She messed up two photo shoots this show. It's like she's spiraling downhill and nobody, it's nothing you can do about it, like just out of control. And she don't really then, she gonna be going home. And I don't want to see her going home because like I said, she was one of my favorites from the, st the show started out. But anyway, <laughs> what's that one of the models say? Uh, after the show or whatever, everybody went back to, to the house to get ready for eliminations. And somebody in the house said, these hoes, somebody's going home. <laughs> <laughs> she said, these hoes, somebody's going home. <laughs> she got that right. Um, Because Liz was trying to sleep. This is my thing. When it's a lot of y'all in the house, it's disrespectful to me for, you know, eight people to be up. Some people be trying to sleep. Eight people up being all loud. Just act like they in the house by themselves. To me, it's disrespectful. I don't. I do not blame Liz for one bit to the point where she get up and go and be like, "Shut up." This is America's next top model. Tara may have y'all up at four or five a.m. trying to catch some sunlight, some the sunrise for a photo shoot or something. You need to be having your ass in there sleep so you don't have bags under your ass. Not in there hooping and hollering and keep, keeping up a bunch of racket. So I don't br blame Brenda K. So I meant Liz. Liz has been bullied. So now she's feeling all uncomfortable. She want to go sleep at the hotel. The next morning she come back, she over it. She said she been bullied. She been through this in school or whatever. She going home. So the ladies get down to competition. They think they probably going to have an easy competition because, hey, one girl's been eliminated. So what does that mean? So pretty much, what's the point of elimination? Psych. Because <laughs> Tar going to eliminate you anyway. Boom. Y'all shouldn't have been bullying and running Liz out because now, guess what? Y'all going to be too short tonight. <laughs> So while Brenda K telling about she can't handle the competition, then maybe she should go home. You better hope you don't be going home because you've been in the bottom two every damn episode. You better hope you ain't in the bottom two tonight. And while I'm on Brenda uh, Brenda K, let's go on and get this said. So um, 
Well, isn't it Brenda K calling the kettle black when she acted a fool over a half-eaten apple in the refrigerator, but yet she trying to talk about Liz? Okay. And she trying to talk about Liz saying something about the house being so freaking nasty and disgusting. But okay, did she fail to forget she acted the fool over that apple? We remember. Is it, uh, is it yet Brenda K again calling the pop black when she hollers she don't want to be in this, be in no drama and ain't here for no drama, but yet she calls drama and started a, a beef with Christina just because she was by the garbage can and Christina asked her to put some trash in the garbage. She acted the food, had all the house come in there and try to gang up on Chris, uh, Christina. This is what Brenda K does. Okay. But she gonna talk about Liz. <laughs> okay. But anyway, poor Liz done going home now. But I wish she hadn't went home. Because Liz, her, her photos was good. So, I'm gonna be waiting to see if Tara talks to her. And then she pop back up. Because you know how Tara do. Somebody may pop back on up. Later on up in the seasons. So, I'm gonna wait and see. Because I'm hoping Liz will come back. She'll talk to her. But anyway. So, Shanice came into the... To the um tonight's little panel discussion for um eliminations, and she even got her little bubbly energy and her whole new attitude is rubbing off on the whole panel, and I like it. I like this side of her. I like seeing her, and it's just like she finally just finding herself and owning it, like she being herself, and we can see her, you know. But I liked it. Oh, she was just happy and powerful, but, but, but Paul Ryan, Cora, she got up there and the first thing she started doing is everything that she should have seen in all the other competitions with Brittany K been up there and drugged like an old rug so many times. They done put her through the ringer that you don't get up there and say anything negative about yourself. That's a no-no. And he told her right out the bat, we wouldn't have never known none of this if you hadn't told us. Now we're going to be looking for things to be wrong. So you can't do that. You have to get up there and own it and not say nothing. Sometimes you can just talk to her. She just should have went up there with a smile and been pretty because just your attitude alone can help you get by certain things. But anyway, Ryan, Lord have mercy. Like I just said, she got to just stop overthinking it and own it. Like Cora told her, she needed to be working on her looks like. Smile with her eye out, her eyes and. Different expressions. I'm not no model. I ain't expiring to be one, so I don't know nothing about no facial expression trying to do them. But she do, and she need to work on them. But she need to keep doing them. Until they memorize until she NLF. Next level fears. Hashtag NLF, y'all. Hashtag next level fears. She need to keep going at it, keep doing it, keep pushing, keep striving until she get there. That's what you got to do on this show. It's a daily grind and she shouldn't give up. But anyway, my choices for elimination tonight, personally, I would have said um, Cora and... It, it it was a hard choice for me. I personally would have said Cora, Cora and Sandra. The reason that, because Sandra, she didn't stand out to me. Like, in her, her, her pictures or nothing, it was just plain and boring. I don't care for Lady Gaga, the whole lady look they gave her. I didn't like it, but she didn't even try to own it. And she hadn't stood out to me the entire season. Like, I know this is only episode four, but she hasn't stood out at all. At least Ryan has popped out to me some. Sandra hadn't at all, so that's why those would have been my pick. But, however, the pet, the, um... I was glad that Sh um, Shanice and Brenda K wasn't picked again because they've been in the bottom two seem like the whole since the show started the first three episodes. But the panel choose Cora and Ryan. As soon as they came up there, I already knew who was going going home. I thought they were um, I already like I said, I already knew who was going home, and I personally thought they was gonna send R Ryan home just because. Of her being void and all her pictures. And of course that is who they sent home. I hope after this. That Ryan pulls it together. And she take a page out of. Uh, 
Shanice book and step it up and get it together. Ryan said the judges gave up on her too soon, but she gave up on herself long before the judges did because she was self dying her herself and she they not gonna let her be on that show either. When they go back and look at this, they're gonna be like, you know, think she has some kind of eating disorder. Do she think they're gonna let her be on this show? I think not. But I hope they do really see this and realize that she may need a little help. And they um, reach out to her and make sure that she all right and make sure she don't have any kind of like eating disorder or whatever. But that's all my review for this show. Um, this was a very good episode. All these to me, you know, this is America's Next, Next Top Model. So, you know, all of them going to be a good episode. So, be sure y'all go catch this episode. Um, you can see it on Tuesday nights. Make sure you download the VH1 app, log in with your um, TV, whoever's your TV carrier. Be sure to watch these shows. It's super good. I thank you guys for watching. Be sure that you watch all the other reviews for this show. I'll leave them here so you can watch them soon as this little clip, right after this little clip, so you can click on them and watch them. I'll also leave my playlist. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll see when I upload new reviews. I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit, don't forget to hit that like button, and y'all have a good night. Bye.